Grappling Ignorance. Man, I have seen people recently leaving you some comments saying, dude, make a video that I don't agree with because this is getting creepy. And I know how they feel, but I'm happy to report that you have finally done it. First, we need to talk about this word. It carries such a negative connotation that people hear it and they automatically think pure evil. You indoctrinate your children. Oh, you're brainwashing them. How dare you? Oh, the horror. Are you people serious? Can we stop already? It's not that bad. By the very nature of being a parent, you will indoctrinate your children. And this is not limited to religion. This extends to views on politics, war, crime, homosexuality, racism, marriage, gender roles, even things as simple as the clothes you wear, the food you eat, and the music that you listen to. All of these things are going to influence your children because they're watching. They see what you do. They see how you interact with people. They hear how you speak to people. And they want to be just like you because they're your kids. And that's what kids do. And if your kids don't want to be just like you, you are doing something wrong. Okay, so what you basically said was that parents should wait until kids are old enough to fully grasp the concepts that they are teaching them about religion, and then they should teach them about all religion. Now, that sounds good, and it seems to make sense, but let's think about the implication of what you're saying. This would mean that Christian parents couldn't go to church on Sunday because were they going to leave the kid at home? Probably not. That's not good. Um, they can't pray unless they're hiding in their closet, which I think they're supposed to do anyway, but that's a different story. You know, they can't sit down at the dinner table and say a blessing before they eat. Really? That doesn't sound very good. I mean, I am of the firm opinion that all people should be free to believe and practice as they see fit in the prophecy of their homes. I think we need to stop focusing on how we can end indoctrination and instead focus on how we can combat the problematic ideals imposed by indoctrination while at the same time reinforcing the good ones because they're not all bad. I mean, they're just not. And the key to that is education. I don't know many atheists who were raised as such. Most of us came from a religious environment, but we grew up and we started asking questions. And whether we asked those questions in a college classroom or of books in a library or even here on the internet, wherever we're asking the questions, we're getting answers. And we are making informed decision as responsible adults. And I love that. I think it's wonderful. And it seems to me a much better option than taking away a parent's freedom to be him or herself. Because the end of indoctrination can only come at the expense of a lot of personal freedom. And I don't want that. And I'm pretty sure that you don't want that either. So that's how I feel about it. Um, let me know what you think. Later.